We're coming back from a hiatus. I think the Olympics might have delayed Wistoria, but hey, what is going on? We met the other Magia vendors. Not all of them. The middle guy is still gone, which I'm still going to assume is like the Earth vendor, since we saw the other elements and the Earth was going to absent. And the girl was basically a scout, right? The girl, I thought that was pointless, was actually scouting future magic vendors because Doomsday is coming. And if we don't procure more strong people, the threat beyond the wall is going to basically be, uh, it's, it's going to be too much for us. I think we're entering a tournament arc style. Let's begin today's reaction. 7200学院総隊員1万して Oh, we're just getting into it right away, huh? Cinnamon! This guy is dead! I don't believe that you need to spread your legs like this to do this magic. There is... <laughs> it's just for the fan service. Let's fucking go, Colette. Damn, she owns near 10,000 credits on and listen, whatever, however you may feel about him due to the first episode, I think he's actually on the path to redemption. I low-key could see a scenario where we start rooting for him in the future episodes. Will. Bro's fighting with the wand. It's the, you can't even, like, I, I guess the wand could be, uh, like, we're not using magic. So we're going to be just, it's a blunt weapon at this point. Straight up, the wand is a literal blunt weapon at this point. <laughs> just throw it. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> nah, fuck him, dude. I wish he would just punch this thing in one shot and just break the wall and just make everyone shut up. Like, really? They can't talk shit if we, if we show them how strong he is. Oh. Come on, Will. This is crazy. They're still down, looking down on us. Have we ever seen her? This is a new character, right? I don't remember this girl, nor the green-haired guy. Brand new characters, right? Wind and lightning. Diana Owens out. Ooh, 10,000! Liana Owens out. Okay, this girl has the highest credit so far. Wignol Lindor, okay. We got Liana and Wignall. All right. Both MK plus. Oh, what the? Yo, this is an Elfie? Who the, who the fuck is this guy? He's got a blue rose. Eek him in. They're all going to freeze, right? They're all going to freeze up. This is some Yu-Gi-Oh shit, bro. Straight up, sword out on light adhesion. This is some Yuji Yoshi. The blue. What is the association with the blue ice rose and powers like this? Every time they get implanted by a little seed, then they get all affected by ice. Like, this is not the first time we're seeing this, and it's not gonna be the last. <laughs> System code. <laughs> Enhance armament. Oh! Oh! This guy's flexing hard. Now, he doesn't have the most amount of credits. Liana still does. But I just feel like... Yurius Reinberg is, might be the strongest one so far. Yeah, this is System Call. Generate Cryogenic Element. Shape Rose. Detach. Or is it Deject? Oh, they're party mates? They're friends, kind of. Rivals. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck your rose. I'm not gonna take your duel. Wait, does that mean he's accepting it? I'm not really sure. Also, it would hurt a lot if this fucking ice rose... Because like, you're supposed to throw the fucking glove at someone's face, you know? If this landed on your face like that, that would hurt. It was floating, but... I don't think Wignall is really okay with this. Let's 
Liana too. Dude, Liana's so sick. It's the lightning effect. It's the lightning aura. It's the same way that I thought Raikiri in uh, Chivalry of a Failed Knight. It's the same reason why I thought she was so cool too. It's just basically Super Saiyan aura effects, bro. These lightning effects are so sick. These are like the top of the top students, huh? He's an elf? Of course he is. Sion's really close. Like, it's actually impressive that Sion is that close. Right? These three are supposed to be now like the top, top candidates, excluding Will, right? Of like the known mages. But Sion is like nearly at 10k too. He's not that behind. <laughs> Mm. But that's the thing. We're already so cucked because like the amount of credits that we can get, we're already locked out of it because we can't use magic. And the way that he's been getting credits is the other method, you know? Like in the, from the beginning, it was never fair. How much points is he actually missing out on? If he could honestly get all the other credits that he could, like if he knew magic, I wonder if this would be like 10k. Like if just add another fucking 5,000 onto this. I'm not sure. Nah. Are we cooked? How are we gonna make up for the rest of the credits? <laughs> of course. Why do I expect him to be a nice guy? Of course he's a fucking asshole. Bro is literally sitting in the corner behind a pillar. We're literally- look at this. Are we in the way? We're literally in the shadows sitting behind a pillar. Bro comes in. We did- what? This is so unreasonable! And of course, the lackeys fucking glazed Julius. Just like the, you know, the side characters also glazed Shion's like, Oh, Sasuga Shion sama Oh, you're so peak, peak. They're just spitting on that thing. Hawk Twa and doing fucking tricks off of that, bro. Julius' rod is getting polished right now. Grand Magic Festival. It's fucking icy on, bro. <laughs> Sky Race? <laughs> dual Duel, okay. There's like different events. Sky Race, Dual Duel. I'm gonna assume Sky Race is basically just like broom riding. Dual Duel... 2v2? Yeah. Okay. So we don't, we don't need just the credit. If you have the credits, you can go, but then you can also just get scouted at the Magic Festival. So all the credits doesn't matter, right? We're still eligible to get into the tournament, and the Upper Institute will simply scout us if we perform well at the tournament. I mean, last episode, that scout girl literally referred Will to the rest of the Magia vendors. I think that we're a shoe in It's not even a fucking... It's not even close, right? Like, there's no one else that, that has, like, the highest prospect. Like, number one seed of, like, the draft of this right now for rookie talent, I think, is Will. Oh, look at that arena, bro. I'm just waiting for the 1v1 duels, man. Different tower factions. Uh, the factions are based upon the elements, right? Because I've heard people say, you know, ice faction, earth faction. Earth faction low key just got just trashed on in a couple episodes ago in an intermission scene for whatever reason. Here we go, lore. Laiko. So I wonder if all elves are just default wind. Hmm, I, I don't know. But uh, we have lightning, obviously. We got elves, which is wind. Fire. Light sovereign. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, we know of the elf last episode. She was a really rude one. The lightning guy, we're talking about the Magia vendors. We know Thor, he was a really, really inclusive guy. He was down to do whatever the fuck he wanted, right? We know the ice guy. Sorry, ice is elfy, obviously. We know the fire guy who was the one that's closing his eyes and he low-key um, settled the dispute between, you know, lightning and wind guy, remember? And this guy must be the one in the middle. So earth faction is not even important. 
Earth is low-key dookie. They got left out. It's literally lightning, wind, fire, ice, and light. Where is Earth? Earth is, Earth, Earth is low-key just getting shit on right. Is it not? It has no representation. Who would accept us? I bet Will can do it. Watcher. Damn right, bro. She's a watcher. She's, a, she's literally the watcher. She still reminds me of Raikiri in Chivalry of a Failed Knight. That's so stupid, Will. Like, this is your one and only fucking chance to be able to get the eyes of the recruits without having, you know, unfair credit problems because you just don't know fucking magic. So in the one event where now you can show everyone how capable you are, you're saying, nah, I'll wait two years. I what? What? It's the self-confidence issue, I guess. But like, goddamn, bro, this is literally your last chance. <laughs> Kore, slap this motherfucker. Oh, wait, some lore as to why? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess he flexed and people said, Where's the magic? Boo! I want my refund! And he got traumatized. But I feel like if you were just a Giga Chad, you would just like use some sort of Conqueror's Hockey, stomp the fucking ground, and simply the air pressure from the stomp would silence the entire fucking crowd. And just all you gotta say is, shut the fuck up and just watch me. The worst in history. I see, I see. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Look at these fucking losers, bro. Using Earth magic. <laughs> they don't even have a Magia vendor for Earth, bro. <laughs> They're already failing. <laughs> I'm so mean. I don't know why I'm shitting on Earth right now. It's just because the Magia vendor faction, they didn't show Earth, you know? I, they never showed us. I'm like, well, I guess they don't like Earth elements. Okay, different events. And Colette, bro, Colette uses Earth as well. I'm sorry, Colette. I'm sorry. Yeah,。Yeah, bro, get out there. Show them. Fuck it. Who cares? What? これと。うまく隠してるけど、結界が張ってある。ベリア。それに防音の結界。サウンドダンプニング。魔法で力任せに壊すこともできる。What and as well, right now, he just dispelled a barrier. All right, Kiki. OP. Oh! Wait, is there a fight club down there? What is it? I hear voices. Gamba. <laughs> just gambling. Yeah, <laughs> let's fucking go. <laughs> Yo, everyone, imagine if Will goes in versus like Julius. I'm already setting the stage. The finals of the tournament, 1v1 duel, Julius versus Will. Imagine the stage is fucking set and all the odds is in favor of Julius. And our boys, they all invest, fuck it. We go all in on fucking Will. The amount of po money that we could win because no one has any faith in Will, man. And like, what about Edward? Edward knows. It'd be so funny if Edward bet on Will. <laughs> the teacher was like, you know what? Shit. <laughs> I've seen this kid fight. Fuck it. I'm gonna put my entire salary on Will. <laughs> Fuck it. I would bet on Liana. Right now, right now, if Will was out of the equation, I would honestly bet on Liana. Liana seems to be top dog right now. Dude, the top three people, Liana, Will, sorry, Liana, Julius, and uh, Elf Guy, I forgot his name. And then Sion. 
She only made it. Oh, that's actually pretty impressive. Gamba. What's up, bro? To, to Gamba? Okay, cool. Now you're gonna think I'm crazy. What do you think about Shion and Colette? Because we know that Will and Colette's not gonna happen. Elfie exists. But like, I like for the same reason why people shipped Hermione and Draco Malfoy in Harry Potter. Shion and Shion, Shion and Colette, bro. I I I'm just saying maybe. I think he is thinking that though. I think Shion is genuinely intimidated. I think it is. Maybe. あいつらに負けたわけじゃないからな。戻っている単位数。あの日からずっと鍛錬だってしてる。エピソード 1。2年に一度の祭典。みんな、お祭り騒ぎになるのも無理わ。今日はここまで。次は重要集を怠らないように。聞き、終わったよ。あの、この後どうする単純に行くなら。Already cooked. <笑> Colette's such a nice girl. But like, Elfie exists. That's so unfair, man. It's actually so fucked. Okay, here we go. We're getting some fucking lore. All right, Kiki. The reason I gave Kiki to Will? Because that boy is always acting recklessly, of course. I wonder who's talking. If he doesn't at least have a talented familiar with him, I wouldn't feel comfortable watching him go into the dungeon. And if that incident on the sixth floor on the other day, if Kiki's crystal hadn't been connected to mine, I wouldn't have been able to see. I see it's the teacher. That was a slip of the tongue. Please forget about it. Workner Norgram. Got it. The crystal is how he was, you know, looking through the crystal ball. Got it, got it, got it. Kiki lore. Dwarves? Dwarves. Short in stature with short limbs. Also, they reek of sweat. <laughs> what else is there to know? I don't know. Dwarves are stereotypically always like the artisan craftsmen, right? They're deft with their hands uh, and they have insane physical strength. You fool. If one has magic, one doesn't need any of that. A certain mage who believes in this absolute ruling mage. It sounds like Edward wrote this. Like, it, 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 it's literally just shitting on the dwarves here. This is straight up just Edward writing this, right? And they're literally just like, ew, dwarves are stinky and short. The fuck else do you need to know? That they're good with craftsmanship? Nah, you don't need that shit. Just use magic, losers. That's gotta be Edward saying that, man. Dwarves. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you drunks. That's right. He does the newspaper. Bro is hustling so hard. Tournament. Wait, it's our fanboy friend again. Uh, Rusty, right? Rust, Rusty? Rusto? Rusty, Rusty. Right, it's Rusty. So, Mado Taisei. Weapon? Okay, okay. Bald! Koretsu, bring Koretsu here. Yeah, this, this low-key is a fanboy Hooters, man. Thank you, Tomer. I appreciate that. But this, this low-key is a fucking fanboy's Hooters. They, they're just booty short and 
dropped off a wave. And I guarantee you the sales would go up and Rusty was put in that. <laughs> Will is very friendly with the dwarves though. The I mean, even like the fight with Edwards, the whole theme at the end of one dwarf was able to reach, you know, that mage and how Will was supposed to represent the dwarves there. ドーフたちのお給金高いわけじゃないんでしょ。ワークナー先生だったらもう。ワークナー先生には散々迷惑をかけてるから。好きだよ。豪快でお酒が好きで、手先も器用で。They're yeah. alcoholics and they're good with their hands. Ayo. No, I think that the dwarves is important to maintain a good fact, like a relationship with, because they're going to be able to like make us the cracked weapons and you know to the other shit, right? てくれた。僕はドワーフのことを尊敬してる。Catch! <gasps> Julius, why are you showing up the dwarf tavern? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like, what is he gonna do? Show up at the place we're working and then complain that we're here? Like, this isn't, like, this part of the neighborhood is not even where Julius is supposed to be, right? Like this this shit is like a dwarf tavern. What the fuck are you doing here? Why did you enter? <laughs> I don't get it! You you intensely walked all the way here! Open the door! Ew! The fuck? What is this like? <laughs> okay, it's the only it's the only open tavern. You will fuck him up with a spoon. <laughs> Poor <laughs> newspaper and dwarf tavern. What, what are you gonna fucking say? This is a Imagine walking into an Asian restaurant saying this. Like, imagine that. I mean, the context is he shows up to a dwarf restaurant, then shits on the dwarves, right? Like, oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> Bro! So, like, the dwarves obviously are, like, immigrants, you know, they're basically, like, third... They're like third tier citizens, right? That's how they're treated. It's like, and they have this one ghetto area that like we can like kind of exist in. And like he shows up, you're fully aware because it's the only open tavern. All right, whatever. This guy fucking sucks though. I hope Will actually has a reason to fuck him up now. <coughs> no manners, bro. Okay, lore. Dwarves world was destroyed by the Celestial Host, which is the thing that exists outside the barrier in the sky that we created by the Magia vendors. They're Isekai characters! Why is that? Because dwarves have no magic. That's pretty much it, right? That's the entire thing, because elves obviously have... Their, I mean, the elf uh, sovereign is like the wind mage girl, right? Bro, this is literally a celestial dragon shit in One Piece. Like, the oppressors can just shit on you, and if you try to speak back anything, you're executed. <laughs> At, well, Will can do it for him instead! Rusty, trip and throw the plate at his face. You asked for the food! You probably ordered this food! You're getting upset at the shit you ordered! Trash! <laughs> Remember this? Remember this? The stench of sweat. Remember the intermission scene? When the dwarves are getting shit on in the intermission scene, then they're short and they're just stinky? Well, please. <laughs> Fuck him up. Come on. Come on, bro. Take it back, bitch. Dwarf's 
the lore of the food dish that they just disrespected, bro. Respect the beans! You know her ass is not gonna pay him more though for this. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much of a show Will puts on. Well, it's unfair because like, you know, they, they already are, they are, like their economy is fucked, right? The dwarf, they have no money. That's why the pay here is shit. It's not, it's not her fault. <laughs> Dude, I hope we make this motherfucker eat the food off the ground like a fucking dog. Like, just beat him up to the point he's literally eating the beans off the fucking ground. Show some respect. Nah, bro. We'll do something. No! Yes! Oh, drink on his shirt. They're knocked out. Already fucking knocked out, dude. And it's their first time seeing Will in action. Oh, you have no idea what you just fucking awoke. You like this? Why are you getting so excited? <laughs> I think he really enjoys this. <laughs> I know he's happy that he has finally an excuse to fuck someone up, but like the way that he's saying it, <laughs> with this kind of face, it's like, Oh, I've never been humiliated like this in my life. Oh, yes, well, more. Yo, the bar though! The, who's gonna fix all this shit? Surely he can break out of it. This is why you why 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 you do that? This is this is kind of weird. I don't know. This is just. Oi, what is that? Koko de o mai o kori suke ni suru dake jia kirasumanai. Hero munosha. All right, bad. Kanshiu no made. O mai o tettei teki ni hasukashi. Nah, nah, we're gonna humiliate you and you're gonna get an even greater high off of that humiliation. Oh my god. I guess he saw the look in Will's face and the look of defiance was not something that he was, you know, look at that. He probably wanted to see someone that's looking destroyed, but the look of defiance made him mad. And he's like, you know what? Let's settle this in the actual fucking tournament. I am so down, bro. I don't know when it's gonna happen. Grand finals or in the beginning? Either world would be very impactful. Look at that, he just breaks out of it. Snap that shit! Nice. Nah. Dude, he just wants an apology for them, man. He's so based. And that's today's episode of Wistoria. We're coming back off of a hiatus and we're starting off strong, man. Who do you get introduced to immediately? We have top three new characters. We got a lightning girl, we got a wind elf, and we got an ice ekemen, and oh my god, the Yulius fucking sucks. But thanks to Yulius, Will actually has a reason to join, because last time he did this, it was a huge mistake. People were booing him, dunking on him, because he made it into like a sports fight because of his lack of magic. But finally, we have a different reason to fight, right? We're fighting on behalf of the dwarves, and we're gonna make him apologize. Yulius is obviously super strong, and it kind of sucks to see Will placed in such a position like this. I thought that we're gonna get our pop-off moment today, but hey, I mean, we did shit on the lackeys, right? The side characters got fucked up, but Julius, we're gonna save this for the main meal in the tournament, and the watchers are gonna be there. Everyone will witness that this laggard, that this person who should not even be here, has dethroned one of the top three at the school. Bro, that's gonna be a fucking impactful moment. I also enjoy the little bit of setup that they're doing with Xion. Sion from episode 1 I thought would be the classic bully that gets, you know, defeated to, you know, get humiliated for our power fantasy and be forgotten, but like, he's still kicking around. 
And I think that he's really going through redemption art. Obviously, he's still a little bit upset and feisty here and there, but I genuinely think that he's getting better. And who knows? Maybe he's going to have a really impactful one in the tournament too. And I cannot wait for that to happen. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.